Well, hello, <laughs> beautiful goddess energy, <laughs> ah, beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel and uh, checking out another one of our weekly goddess energy readings. Featuring the book Your Goddess Year by Sky Alexander, a week by week guide to invoking the divine feminine. So, all of these readings are intended to be timeless for the time that they are meant for, or whenever this goddess's energy, you know, comes forward to you. So, we are to the last week of August, and so, uh, I cannot believe it. This year has just been traveling very fast. So let's read August and we will move on to our goddess for this week. This morning the sun endures past dawn. I realize that it is August, the summer's last stand. Sarah Baum, English author, and a line made by walking. Okay. August. August is a time of fullness when life on earth is bountiful and we reap what we've sown. The glowing goddesses Diana, Oshun, Pele, and Pavarti personify this bright and beautiful month. As you meet the deities in this section and learn about the traditions that celebrate them, let their experiences inspire you in matters of self-reliance. How have your efforts brought about or inhibited in abundance? How can sharing your powers with others benefit all concerned? The goddesses' stories can guide you. Nice. So, this week is Parvati. And so, so this week, for some reason, like before I even realized that like because I looked earlier but I've been watching a whole bunch of just like Indian dance videos like just dance performances like different dance schools and uh, yeah and I just I was just like why why am I watching this and then I opened the book today and I saw who it is and I was like oh my gosh that makes so much sense okay so anyways Dates for inviting her, okay, this is Parvati, so, yeah, dates for inviting her, August 28th through September 3rd. In India, Parvati is honored with a three-day festival called Hartalika, Hartala, okay, Hartalika Tij, which takes place in August or September. The holiday celebrates the union of the goddess with Lord, with Lord Shiva. During the festival, married women pray for the health and longevity of their husbands. Single women ask the goddess for happy marriages. This week, we too recognize Parvati and seek her blessings. Symbols and Correspondences The daughter of Himavan, lord of the majestic Himalayas, Parvati loves mountains and rules from the 22,000 foot tall Mount Kailash in Tibet. In Sanskrit, her name is a word for mountain. Lotus flowers, too, are precious to her, and she's often depicted sitting on a lotus blossom or holding one in her hand. Uh, her story. According to Hindu myth, Parvati is the goddess of love, marriage, and fertility. The second wife of Lord Shiva, this compassionate and devoted deity took care of him while he grieved the death of his first wife. Eventually, after a great deal of effort and self-sacrifice on her part, she fell in love with her, wait, he fell in love with her and the couple went to live on the holy mountain Kailash where they're said to spend their time doing yoga, meditating, and engaging in sacred sex. Okay. 
Known for her gentle nature, nurturing kindness, and patience, Parvati manages to keep Shiva's violent temper in check. She also is okay. She's also a wise counselor with an abundance of inner strength, the perfect complement to her husband, the destroyer war god. Mm. Together they symbolize the interdependence of male and female energies, and thus the divine depiction of traditional marriage. As the goddess of marriage, Parvati is always shown in conjunction with Shiva, never alone. Uh, one of the most revered of the Hindu goddesses, she is an embodiment of Shakti, the feminine aspect of creation. Her power is shown in ten aspects, which are represented by other deities, including Kali, November 6th through 12th, and Tara, June 12th through 18th. Oh, okay. Reasons to invite her. Parvati's festival, okay, Parvati's festival week is the perfect time to solicit her favor if you want more joy, peace, or understanding in a romantic relationship. However, you can petition her assistance anytime love goes awry. She can teach you the value of patience and devotion without sacrificing your own needs, your own needs, dignity, or power. If you're seeking a happy and fulfilling partnership, call on the goddess to help you attract the ideal mate. Where to seek her? If you live in the mountains, you'll find it easy to sense Parvati's presence way up in the clouds. Otherwise, go to a high place, even if even if it's the top of a tall building. Imagine you're in uh, the rarefied realm of the goddess and ask her to speak to you. Oh. All right, oh my gosh, September. All right, how to invite her. To connect with the goddess, first engage in the ancient Hindu art of hand painting with Mendi or henna, a reddish plant-based dye. Hindu women create intricate and elaborate designs on their hands and feet with this dye. You can find many beautiful patterns and purchase kits online. However, you may prefer to adorn yourself with symbols and images that have special meaning for you. Set your intention before you begin. Okay, one, apply the henna to your hands and or feet in any pattern that speaks to you. While applying the dye, keep your mind focused on your intention and with each brush stroke, brush stroke <laughs> since Parvati's presence. Be careful not to get the dye on clothing or other materials. The henna designs will last a week or more. Two, with your painted hands, okay, Hold a smooth egg-shaped stone known as a Shiva Lingam. Typically, this stone is a form of brownish jasper native to India and combines both light and dark coloring. But you can find Shinga Ling okay, Shiva Lingams, I've seen them before, naturally occurring in many places, perhaps in your own backyard. Look for a stone circled by, <clears throat> excuse me, Look for a stone circled by a band of con contrasting shade or one that's half light and half dark in color. They're also available at gym, mineral shops, and online. The elongated shape symbolizes the masculine force and Shiva, while the circle represents the feminine and Parvati. Together, they signify the union of male and female, the balance of opposites, and the joining of body and spirit that engenders creativity. Ooh, my goodness. Three, meditate while holding the stone. Give thanks to Parvati, oh wait, Parvati, oh my gosh, for guiding and protecting you, for bringing you abundance, and for helping you achieve your intention. Four, when you've finished, place the stone in a spot where you'll see it often to remind you that the goddess is aiding you and all is well. Ah, wow. Okay. I, I know exactly where to get a Shiva Lingam. So, um, heard. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you 
learned something new about Parvati that you did not know today. Um, I did. I actually did, and so I enjoyed it. So, yeah, I hope you all found something that resonates with you. If you did, yeah, please remember to hit that thumbs up so this uh, message can spread to all those other people that need to hear about Parvati today. So, <laughs> thank you all so very much for being here. I love and appreciate you so very much. If you are subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. I love you all. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.